guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Blender. I'm here with our guy, Tim, the owner of the Whiskey Blender right now. What we're gonna do today is walk you through starting a whiskey club, why you would, why you wouldn't, what you might consider, why you consider joining one, and then buying your first barrel, and why it's important to uh, be in a place where you can get some of the best barrels. So, Tim, I know you told me you were in some of the top whiskey clubs. I mean, I was, I guess I still am in a lot of clubs, yeah. Um, now you kind of own yeah, the club. <laughs> well, no, I, I uh, provide whiskey to the clubs. So, uh, but yeah, all the clubs are a little different. So uh, if you're starting a whiskey club, you'd want to have your identity or why would people join your club versus all the other clubs that are already out there that are established? What's the value add? What's the cost? What do they get? What do they learn about? Are you going to do community service? Like, what's what's the mission of the club? That makes sense. And you know what's crazy? It's taking me back to them track days. I was a part of KC Sprinters Elite, and we were the fastest kids in the state of Missouri. You couldn't beat us. It was not even probable. So, Are you still fast? Yeah, depending on the day. <laughs> I got to lose some weight first. <laughs> but in this case, we are going to build a club around uh, entrepreneurship. And we're gonna call it Keep It Whiskey. And it's already exists to be clear, but today Jamarcus and I are gonna shoot some pictures and stuff and just set it up with Tim and, and learn a little bit more. So what's been one of the experiences you had when people come in and buy their barrel? Yeah, we actually have, have a group coming in next week, uh, actually tomorrow too, but a, a, a group next week. Um, yeah, so the experience, is, it's always fun. So uh, going on a barrel pick, you kind of never know what you're gonna get. You hope you get like something really cool and unique. Um, and then when you do get something cool and unique, then you're excited to share it with the rest of the club. So being on the barrel pick uh, team or on the blending team is always, is always a blast. Um, and it's always a good day. So it usually takes about a half a day. Um, so we got a group next Wednesday if you wanna. Yeah, I'll be here. If you wanna check it out. It's not, but, even, a, uh, it's not even a question. As long as I'm gonna tell you, I'm not going to where this is. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, so what was so, some of the reasons that you joined clubs then? Uh, to, to learn about whiskey, to share some of the bottles that I have, um, because it's, you know, you get good whiskey and you wanna share it with somebody. You don't wanna just drink it alone. So. Um, and and then have that reciprocated too because there's a lot of bottles that I want to try that I can't find or can't get or can't afford but somebody else has it and they want to share so then it's like okay well and now now my my whiskey knowledge is getting much more broad in bottles that I thought I would like that I thought if I ever saw them I would buy them then I try them and it's like I don't need to buy that or man this was overhyped and it's not that good, so I can save a couple hundred bucks and I don't need to buy that. So yeah. joining the clubs, it, it kind of helps you realize what you like, what you don't like, uh, learn more about whiskey, have have friendship, have brotherhood, have um, have little meetups here and there. And then it's uh, it's kind of cool too, because most, most of the whiskey clubs are very generous and want to give back to the community. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's full circle and that's why that's why we have so many clubs that want to give a portion of every bottle back to a local charity or do the actual work on a building, that kind of stuff. So That's crazy. there's a lot of, lot of value there. There you go. Now, again, people, I've learned a ton about whiskey and even why it's important to connect to people because we have a share a story, uh, do some business over whiskey. This is a business house here, man. There's a lot of great things that are taking place. There's a lot of, a lot of business deals have been consummated next door. So that's, it's the new golf course. So ah, the deals oh, used to be one. done on the golf course. Now it's in a, now it's in a whiskey lounge, like yeah. over over high end whiskey, and and people of power come here and they get stuff done. They get, they solve the world's problems. It's pretty cool. There you go, people. Now we've gotten older, and unfortunately at times we lose sight of you know making sure that we can separate all the stress that we deal with uh, in the world we live in. So what I've learned, and I'm probably going to learn, especially as we build ours out is the importance of bringing people together. And I know Tim and his group brothers serve at others. They do a good job of bringing men together um, to go out and give back. And yeah, man, <laughs> battle of the blend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it says it there too. Yeah. Brothers serving others. See that shield right there? Hands, crown, look. There you go, people. Now, again, battle of the blends is happening. We're going to be going live during that time so people can see kind of what's going on. If you're you want to do a, a preview tomorrow? Yeah, we're doing a preview. Well, you by the time you see this, you'll be we'll, we'll post the video too. But we're gonna do it's gonna be me versus Tim. What's <laughs> it tonight? 
Oh, okay. He posted today. That's the beauty about having a good camera guy. Okay. We'll, okay. we'll post this tonight. When you see it tomorrow, and you see firsthand, like why, yeah. why does everybody want to challenge me? Everybody wants to challenge me. No, this <laughs> is this is this hey, is purely if, for if, putting if you, out content. If you beat me with your oh, blend. Man. I got. I can't win in this situation. <laughs> I beat you, and it's like, yeah, you beat a guy. The that's, on the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He, look, he's he's talking like somebody don't understand the business that goes with this. You go, look. I don't want this stress. <laughs> I repeat, I don't want this stress. Yeah. And then uh, you can employ him as the general manager. <laughs> no, nah, buddy. Look, I love the position he's in because this right here. If you don't know anything about the whiskey business, uh, just keep it that way. <laughs> keep it that way. Leave this shit alone. <laughs> yeah, but that's something cool too about your club is that people that are interested in starting their own whiskey brand mm -hmm. or starting their own distillery or whatever it is will give them insight here on what yeah. that's like yeah and yeah. answer the questions that they have and, and I mean where can you go to get those answers and who do you talk to even if you go to a distillery the owner's not going to be there <laughs> why would they talk to you so that's a unique a unique value add that we'll have with yeah. your club. And, and that is the truth, people. I mean, again, I called Tim. He's super responsive. I think we're going to mesh well. We already mesh well together because there's an honesty that both of us kind of live and thrive, live by. And part of that honesty is, here, I can tell you every step, but you still got to go do the work. And I repeat the work, be it, you know, I got the dog shirt on today. That's when nobody's watching. That's when it's failing. That's when it's working. So you say, if, if it never fails, then you got to grind smarter, per se. So we're going to give you behind the scenes of a lot of stuff that you won't see at the big places because this place is going to grow. Um, and, and growth and expansion are two different things. In ways, this is going to grow for dang sure. And then it's going to expand and, and grow some more. Uh, and then it's going to do, we, you know, it's gonna, we're just going to keep it whiskey, man. Look. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to... As far as letting clubs in yeah. with the exclusivity that we're letting your clubs in to kind of learn about the business, that's the only club that we're going to do this with. So keep that in mind, people. Yeah. That's it's it's a one stop shop for us. And and again, I've learned a ton. We've got a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, this 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 place keeps me up at night. It's one of those things where, you, <laughs> and and I don't have the stress he has. I don't have the stress he has. But you know, I'm one of those people that if you believe in the people you're around, you you want to try to. You know add value in the best way you can so i just think about how i can you know bring more for you uh watching and then even more importantly just help the world be a better place so stay tuned keep it whiskey until next time people. And, and tomorrow you're going down ah uh, we'll see i didn't think about it. he might he might lose <laughs> <laughs>